welcome everybody and today I'm on the Yorkshire coast for some bird photography and I'm with James from Photography Base Camp. So this is James from Photography Base Camp. Uh, he's going to be doing some interesting trips. So do you want to tell the viewers about your trips and what we're going to be doing? Yeah, so I'm really excited about working with Paul next year. So we've got so far, we've got three trips planned, haven't we? We're going to two venues. The first venue is Bempton Cliffs, uh, which is a fantastic seabird venue. Hundreds of thousands of seabirds yeah. there Definitely. every May, June and July, uh, including puffins. Yeah, puffins. Uh, and gannets, which I think are, are beautiful birds. Loads of gannets. Uh, so we're going there in May and June, which is the time of year, really, that the, the best time to go for bird photography at Bempton. And then the second trip is to Snettisham, which... Snettisham in Norfolk, yeah, down in Norfolk. Which probably is one of the UK's premier bird photography venues, isn't it? So we, we've timed a trip to coincide with what they call the Whirling Wader, uh, where, yeah. again, there are tens of thousands of waders that, uh, in the tide, tidal movement, are pushed towards the banks, and you get all sorts of murmurations yeah. and fantastic uh, displays and from those birds. A lot of birds, a lot of a lot waders. Of birds, yeah. um, but they're going to be a little bit different because James is offering something uh, which I think is very different and unique in terms of photography workshops um, and a general outdoor experience. So tell everybody why it's dif different, what we're doing. Well, a couple of things I'd highlight. Firstly, uh, the experience is, is, is all about a teepee experience. So you have teepee. the opportunity to stay in your own teepee with a wood burning stove. Uh, so we'll all be put up in that sort of accommodation. Uh, and secondly, the trip's all inclusive. Yeah. Uh, so the price of the trip basically includes your food, your accommodation, your drink, both non-alcoholic and alcohol alcoholic, believe yeah. it or not. Beers. Uh, beers, uh, <laughs> aka beers. Uh, and, uh, you know, so the, the price you pay is the, is the cost of the total trip, which yeah. they offer fantastic value. So I just hope you have a look online because they're going to sell out quickly. So and, uh, we, we, we think not, not only is it different, um, a different experience, but we think it's really good value for everything that's included. So you don't have to organise anything yourself. Everything's going to be done. Um, and there'll be two of us as well in terms of tuition to help you with your photography. Now, if you like a bit of an adventure, want to do something different, then we are going to be doing, t what do we, what do we call it, mobile photography glamping, yes, TP. Yes, do, yeah, mobile so, photography glamping, yeah. So if you're interested in, in that, then have a look, uh, check out the link which is on the screen and also in the description box below, click on that link, it'll take you straight to the website and you can book one of those trips. So we just spotted like a group of turnstones. Uh, just along the edge, the tide's going out now, there's a lot of rocks on here, there's like a bit of a ramp. The sun's behind us, so we're kind of trying to approach with the sun behind us. Oh, this is superb down here, so I've just got down onto these quite big rocks. Um, and just sitting here, just quietly waiting, and the turnstones are just coming up. It's often the way, if you just, especially with birds like this, if you just sit in one spot, they'll often come to you. <laughs> Think of the turnstones. We've just had an amazing sort of 20 minutes where basically they're so tame, Paul, they're coming up yeah. within five, six yards. And we've got this wonderful sunlight which is giving us sort of, uh, reflections on the sand, and it's just been amazing. We've got some hopefully some brilliant shots. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been really good. Yeah, probably say so probably a good 20 minutes or so um, of turnstones running up the rocks and then running out, quite often running out onto the sand running along the wet sand with some reflections yeah so you've been trying to get the reflections been trying to get the reflections uh, which we think we've got <laughs> we 
We both actually got some really good pictures this afternoon, uh, particularly the turnstones that were running on that wet sand and the weather's been really kind to us as well. If you are interested in any of those trips and you fancy to see something different, a bit of an adventure, outdoor photography, mobile glamping, then check out the link in the description box below. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time.